Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Frostpunk. Second time I've tried to record this because it crashed about 10 minutes into the episode. So I'm starting again and I'm just a little bit bitter. We are going to try the Fall of Winterhome again. Like the third time. Hopefully we'll actually get it to go this time. Uh, our generator is malfunctioning after our leader ignored the problem for weeks and bearable cold and brutal repression drove us to rise up against him. He didn't go down without a fight, and half the city was burned to the ground in the fighting. With the generator hastily patched up, your first task as a new leader is to restore Winter Home and convince people it has a future. Then you'll be able to investigate the cause of the generator malfunctions, and if it crashes again, I'm going to go nuts. This game is it's very stable all the time, I've never had any trouble with it. Today it's just being a real pain. Blah, blah. Okay, windows. Our people are suffering in this badly planned, starving half ruined city. You have to restore their hope and quell their discontent. For a start, remove the child ruins and show the city is recovering. Engineers will inspect the generator once you've dealt with the present crisis. Is he going to make that dling dling noise every single time? What are you doing? What? There we go. Fixed it. <laughs> this game. Drive me nuts. Right, pause it. There's a lot of things we need to look at right at the start here. First is... We need to get faster gathering, like, straight off the bat. Because there's so much gathering here that uh, we might as well. Uh, last time, it crashed because I was trying to work out how many Hunter's Huts we had, and I pressed the economy tab, and the game just went, Nope. You're not allowed to look at such valuable information. Uh, so there's three there. Uh, let's make sure we man all of these. Let's put some children in the cookhouse. Coal thumpers. Medical posts. Now it blew my mind that the medical posts don't have their own steam hub. We may sort that. But we definitely need the sawmill. We may actually build a steam hub over here to try and kind of... The point, actually. Is there actually a steam hub over there? Wait, there's a huge section of the place that doesn't have steam hubs? God damn it. Uh, well, let's make sure we've covered all of the... My plan here that I've explained in the last episode that crashed is that I want to make sure that we have enough steel to upgrade all of the houses. We need to have enough food, more food than we'd ever possibly need because I always end up running out and getting really angry about myself. Um, some, I want to get this, steel ruins. I want to clear that steel ruins as quick as I can so I can get another steel works to improve it. Right before it crashed last time, I moved the snow pit. So I remembered that I needed to move the snow pit, which is a step in the right direction. But in order to get rid of it, I need to build another one. I decided that over here... Oh, there's, a, there's the sneaky... The sneaky... The hunter's hut that I can't click. There we go. There we go. Uh, yes, I can't build that one until we've... I can't delete that one until we've built that one. I was looking at building a gathering post in a bit where I deleted some road. Can I see where that was? Here. It actually makes more sense to delete the road, the bits of the road that I didn't delete last time. I think I deleted one up, but... We delete this. Unnecessary road rubbish. We can build a gathering post here. I think I deleted too much, didn't I? Ha <laughs> ha, well, that's fine. Uh, that clears an awfully large amount of ruins all at once. And then if we put another one where this is, the snow pit, that should allow us to clear an awful lot of the internal ruins all at the same time. And then what? That gathering post doesn't touch. 
I'll do manually with children and workers and various other things. Like the ones over here, I know I'm definitely not going to touch these. So let's get a start on these right now. There's three. Let's turn on the generator. I want to put it on the lowest setting for now because it's not too cold just yet. It's only minus 30. In reality, that's bloody freezing, but... Eh, you know. Oh, the other thing that I really wanted to do was build a resource depot. But I need 40 wood, and we don't have 40 wood, so I guess we won't be doing that yet. Work time. Get back to work. Okay, can you guys build that, please? I need to build more hunters' huts. Not entirely sure where to build them just yet. I'm thinking over here where these were. Seems like a good call. But we need to do that relatively quickly. In fact, I'm going to do that right now because I know what I'm going to do. I'll forget yet again and then I'll end up getting in some sort of weird death spiral. Okay, so we're building snow pit. Can I increase the priority of that snow pit? No. I'll get there eventually. Snow pit, hunter's hut. We'll click the economies tab and I'm too scared that it's going to kill my game. We have a lot of sick people right now. Right, let's... 50% efficiency. Reasons disposing of a corpse. E e yeah, oh dear. <laughs> what do we need for that resource depot? Was it four you would? It was. Let's build this somewhere just random. Doesn't really matter too much, needs to be just out of the way. Over here will be fine. If we can build that, put some coal in it, we can get the delivery of coal. Quick as possible. There's the snow pit, that means we can get rid of this snow pit. Hopefully they will move all of the corpses from that corpse pile into that corpse pile, otherwise we're going to be in trouble. Got to be really careful because if people start dying, I can't do anything about it. Laws. Let's do laws. First things first. Whoops. Let's do radical treatment. Let's start sorting out some of the people we have. He's discontent, which is slightly worrying. Uh, let's then build a gathering post down here. Start getting rid of all of this. It's still standby, it's probably slower to use a gathering post. And I, I, I'm kind of worried that time is of the essence. Speaking of time, I need 40 wood to make a scout team. Damn. Shouldn't take too long because we are getting a lot of wood from just gathering from all the houses and things that are around the place. Let's get a scout team as soon as we can. Let's send them to the dreadnought. Okay, what was this? Do less harm. Sir, a doctor wants to talk about improving radical treatment. I was a field surgeon in the Boer War and worked with the Royal Society to reduce the rate of limb loss in army hospitals. I believe I can devise a method that will cut the number of amputations during radical treatment. Yes. Go. Slightly lower our, effic our efficiency of healing people, but it should, in theory. Make it better. So we're going to give that coal to them. We're going to make sure that we max out the children there. Oh, uh, let's build another hunter's hut if I can. I need 20 wood. Come on, any second now. Boom, there it is. Faster gathering as well. Wonderful. What else do we need? Research, research depot upgrade? No. Steel coal mine? Steam coal mine? mine? Not bloody steel coal mine. Steam steel works. 30 wood. That seems good because I could upgrade that one that I've lost. That one. In fact, speaking of steel, I should probably uh, 
look at upgrading some houses and things. Because it's about to get colder, and that's when things are going to start going wrong. We still have far too many sick people, so I'd love to get overcrowding or something. Or could I just build? Medical post around here somewhere. The single most horrendously built goddamn city I've ever seen. Uh, let's try and fast track this one. What can we research? Uh, da -da -da, let's get the steam. Deal works. Let's do it. Because if we upgrade that one over there, that will increase it. And that's good. Ah, oh, we could do it with another. How do we have too many food rations? That seems like a problem. Uh, let's get another resource depot for food. I want to make sure that if I can stockpile. I, wait, I still want the resource depot. Yeah, I do. Uh, if I can overstock, I want to overstock. We don't, we're never going to be needing to build more housing. We just need to upgrade the housing we already have. So, is Put down your tools. let's make that into food rations. Now we can have an awful lot more food rations. We're still building the Hunter's Hut again. When it gets colder over here, we're going to start having problems, actually. Because... There's nothing to bloody stop people from freezing to death while they're... Oh, God. Uh... Hmm. If people start getting too sick, I'm going to be in trouble. I desperately need to get on top of that curve, don't I? And at least these down here are livable and warm. Let's clear some of the ruins around here. So I can build more... Build more medical posts. Kind of worried we don't have enough food still. Oops, going up, but I've still got too many sick people. One overcrowding, so I can put as many people into those medical posts as possible. Preferably before it gets freezing cold. But mm, minus forty is going to put me in a bit of trouble. But then again, I can just up the steam level. It was up the range as well. Because we are in the... Yeah, we're in the black when it comes to coal. There shouldn't be too much of a problem. Plus we have a bit of a buffer. Plus I want to build the coal mine. Still haven't done that. God damn it. It's my problem. I forget about all the things that I want to do. Can't build one anyway. I need 25 wood and 10 steel. We may as well take advantage of these steam coals. I tend to hang on to them too much. We're going to bite me in the ass, it normally does. There, right, let's put some people in that hunt's hut over there. Having too much food is better than not having enough. Uh oh, one more person just got sick. Hang on a minute. No steam hub over it. There's loads of houses, but there's no steam hub. God damn it. I thought that they're just trying to like curb them going nuts when it gets colder. I need to relocate all of these people. What we could do with building another gathering post. Because that's only got one gathering post attached to it. Council have reached the Dreadnought. The only Dreadnought we didn't disassemble. It's stripped of supplies and in need of an overhaul, but otherwise it's intact. As we climb over the edge of the snow-covered plateau, we feel like ants crawling over an alien landscape towards some gigantic beast. We stop at last a stone's throw from the Dreadnoughts to marvel at its scale. One of the huge machines that brought us here towers above us, cold and silent. 
It would take an enormous amount of labour and resources to make it usable again, yet it is still a reminder of everything that we left behind and of our journey north. We decided to leave it intact. Let's keep going that direction. I'm tempted to get more scouts. I also think our research is taking too long. <sighs> hmm. I could build another research place. Another workshop next door. Don't know if it'd fit actually. Maybe not. Oh my god, people are getting very sick. That's so many sick people. Why is everyone getting so sick? What am I missing? Let's... Up that? I don't know if that's gonna help. Why up? I thought these could... I thought medical posts could take 10 people each. I don't know. They can take 5 people each. Okay, well that's crap. Uh, yeah, we desperately need more medical posts, don't we? We have people working on these ruins here. Let's just speed this up on the ins inside circle, otherwise it's gonna... was a nightmare. We're almost there. They are starting to clear it. Let's just speed this up. First thing I want, uh, overcrowding. Gonna annoy people, but at the end of the day, I need to get people inside of those medical posts to get cured, whether they like it or not. They won't die while they're in the post. As far as I know. Uh. Oh boy, it just got colder, didn't it? Get another gathering post up here if I can. Can I fit one in? Just want to get as much coal out of these coal thumbers as possible. I don't have a road. That's a nine. E there we go. A voice in the ruin. Sir, people have heard a child's voice coming from the wreckage. A child has survived the terrible night of destruction when half of Winterhome burned. So many lives were lost in the blaze and fighting. We can't let this child die too. Everybody, go help the child. Can we build? Steam hub over here somewhere. Stop people from getting angry. Now if I just set it so it only does in the data? Okay, we have room on the inside. Some ruins cleared. People have noticed an ongoing effort to clear the city of ruins and they appreciate it. A lot remains to be done, of course, but Winter Home already seems to be breathing a little easier. First things first, I'm gonna build a bloody medical post in here. Frostbite, okay, that over here. Not some per functioning? Why are you not? Storage limit reached. Okay, we have a lot of things going on right now. Right, this or this one over here needs another. post as well if I can. I don't think there's anywhere to actually put it. I don't care about destroying the resources, I just need to get yeah, I just need it in there. It's already a bloody mess. It being a little bit more of a mess is not gonna make that much of a difference. Right. Few amputations. Sir, the doctor who was trying to improve radical treatment is here. He's reporting a breakthrough. It's certainly an unortho unorthodox method, and I learn my learned colleagues would be appalled at the experience I had to perform, but it works. I expect the number of amputations during medical treatment to be halved. He seems eager to get back to his everyday work and try his new method. Thank you very much, sir. 
A distinct spot in the frost and we can use it as a waypoint for further exploration. Our search hasn't uncovered anything of value, but we may be able to reach some more promising locations from here. Right, let's go from here to the last camp. Ooh, ooh it's freezing cold over here apparently. Ah. That explains why they're getting bloody cold. Uh... I particularly want to do this. But I, I'm high, I've got a lot of steel and not a lot of anything else right now, so let's just do it. Alright, let's max that out. Let's get some of these people. Okay, that's one. Some more people inside of a medical hut. Any more? Engineers do I have a lot, so in theory I could build another one. Like, the more I have, the easier it'll be to stay on top of the curve of sick people. Steam steel works. Right, let's, let's upgrade some houses, I think. While I'm remembering. There's some bunk houses here. That's not really going to help that much, is it? Uh, let's... Upgrade. Some tents first, I suppose. Get these upgraded. Oh, that'll do for now, because otherwise we're going to have a load of people. Oh, wow. All of the ruins just... Disappeared. Almost all at once. Amazing. But let's build another... The house, maybe? Move some people on the inside, or we could build another... Medical post. Hmm... I could just build another medical post over where the medical post is, where all the other ones are. Wait, that didn't... Wait, which steel runes were they? Not the steel rooms I was hoping for. Okay, we're, we're stuck in a bit of a slump where we're building too much stuff all at once. Food is looking sketchy as well. Let's try and make sure we get more food. I've obviously ignored the hunter's huts again. I'm going to stick them wherever I can at this point. The more we have, the better we'll be. That's my current theory anyway. Let's see what's going to... going to happen here. Well, there's some happy people. We're not researching anything. That's dumb. Uh, can I get one that improves the eff effectiveness of my medical posts? Yes, I can. 10% faster could be the difference between people dying and people not dying. still feel I need one more medical post. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to stick it there and hope for the best. There we go. Let's just... Fall. Right, that's everyone in care. Hopefully. I mean, there we go. Well, most people in care. Nearly everyone in care. <laughs> now all I need is the coal mine. Oh, and this. Steam steelworks. Let's see where we can build the coal mine first. There's three of them. Yeah, I can build that one without much trouble. It's going to need its own bloody steam hub, though, so it's slightly annoying. Uh, but I can almost turn it off. I'm better to turn it off. We've used our first steam core. Yes, we have. 
we just keep this upgraded. Aha, uh -huh. maximum work is up there. That should increase our coal again. Uh, I want maximum people in that hunter's hut, maximum people in that hunter's hut. I want to curb the fact that we are literally running out of food very, very, very quickly right now. Why is there still 15 people? People are still getting sick. God damn it. Still getting sick quicker than I can treat them. Do I do it? Do I build another one? Oh god, if if I just know that if this sickness gets out of control, it's gonna destroy me, so I am gonna do it, you know. Instead of building houses, which is the smarter choice. Even though I could technically be upgrading houses right now. Even if it's just a bunk houses, I mean which is, what's the difference between a bunkhouse and a house? 20 wood, 10 steel, 35 wood, 25 steel. Oh my god, there's a lot more wood. But we do have a lot of wood right now, so maybe... Let's just do a couple more. Uh-oh. That was dumb. That was really dumb. It's fine. Get, get in your houses, it's fine. Don't worry about it. A little bit of people sick for no apparent reason. Damn, those houses are cool. I don't build these very often. They do look really cool, the models. Uh, Max. You have room for 70 people, for God's sake. That's so many. Okay, I want maximum workers in there. Uh, this only needs to be on during working hours. And I st st How much steel does that produce now? Oh, that's just the standard steel works. Build the needed a steam core. Oh my god, my brain just turned off. The first amputation. Oh yeah. God damn it. I gotta wait. Eleven hours to sign one anyway. Use the steam core. What the hell was it on? I swear I upgraded the. It works. Hmm. I'm losing my mind. That's what's happening. I'm too busy thinking of Death Stranding. It's behind me and I really want to stream it. That's what's going on. <laughs> ah, they're waiting for me. Crap. Explore. Numerous tents, empty crates, sledges, and countless frozen bodies. We're, af we're afraid we know where these poor people came from. We expected these people to make their way to Winter Home in the third dreadnought. Now it seems that some calamity must have befallen them. We should try to find the rest of them. And not just because this part of the expedition was carrying several steam cores. Mighty wreck. Yeah, I did upgrade it. Okay. Yeah, fine. I was going nuts. Don't ignore me completely. I'm, I'm kind of worried that we've only got nine hours worth of coal left. What happened to the coal mine? 24 an hour. Okay, that's not too bad. I say, in theory, we should have an absolute crap ton of coal. We still have 28 people who are sick. Don't particularly want to build another medical post. We've only got, what, 17 engineers? But if I can get people down to zero sick, that would be very nice. Screw it. I want, I don't want a death spiral. Uh oh. Sir, we pulled the child out of the ruins. He's the sole survivor of his family. He's badly burned and will die without proper medical attention. And we can't provide it yet. Oh no. We raised hope, which is, which is a step in the right direction. I, I should have got uh, some of the other laws that allow me to kind of bump up hope, but I don't think it's that important just yet. Still got a lot of rooms to clear. We have one homeless, really? God damn it. Can I squeeze in a home anywhere? In the house. There you go. No homeless people now. Ooh. 
Oh, we've almost lowered discontent. Oh my god. Steel ruins depleted. Steel ruins depleted. Is that the steel ruins that I can mean I can build another s steamworks? Did steamworks? Steelworks. Oh my god, my brain. We'll just build a normal one. Don't want to build a steam one just yet. Uh, and we will make sure it's connected to the road. There we go. I do need to end the episode, but I'm kind of hoping I can fix some stuff. Oh god, we've still got 10 people who are sick. Ah, it's annoying. So annoying. We're still running out of food. Do I need more bloody hunter's huts? I would click the tab to find out, but I don't want to crash the game. Child got injured at work. Yeah, you can have a day off, kid. Raise hope. Hmm. You know what, I'm going to have to end the episode here. I don't want to, but I'm going to because it's only half an hour. And I do want to be streaming some Death Stranding in a bit, so I need to get ready for that. But either way, thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, let me know what you think. Your comments are greatly appreciated, and as always, I'll see you next time.